Okay, this will be a recap and a look forward for what's going on with the S&P index spy. Um, my plan for today called for a support entry right around this 239.10, 239.20 area, which actually did not work out. I uh, had a little bit of a green candle on the open after a gap down, but there was no volume to confirm there were extra participants in it, so there's not something I was looking for. Typically, I would take a trade uh, just above it with a stop below it. Uh, it was just not something that I was really interested in based on the opening volume. I like to have at least two things going for me. So now uh, with that said, I was watching down here. There was nothing to indicate there was any kind of buying. Price broke straight through it and ran all the way down, as you can see, until it put in some sort of a consolidation. Um, this here is a five minute chart. This is a 15, just to illustrate what exactly I was looking at. Saw some uh, long wicks down here, a couple of hammer candles, but a not, a not a green or a green break, which is what I look for on something like this. Uh, down here, pushed down a little bit lower. A couple things that came into play here. False breakdown below this low, as you can see, it broke down, came back above, closed above, and then it had this wide range uh, doji bar right here, which told me there was a lot of indecision and a decent amount of volume was, was taking place in this area here. So I was looking for a move to the upside. Uh, most of my trades are going to be bullish. So uh, with that in mind, went ahead and took a slightly out of the money call, an out the money call, excuse me, of uh, 238 and a half. Got in right around 55 cents. Uh, trailed it all the way up. Well, I didn't trail it up. I just kind of let it play out, wanted to see what exactly was going to happen. Once it came up back above the VWAP, put in a hard stop here just below 238.60, uh, I believe it was, and uh, held pretty well. So my, my stop loss ended up being about break even at this point. And once it continued up, tested my level here, didn't really do anything to scare me out of position, just looked like it was flagging. I expected it to at least test the, the opening price here, which it came up to, and that's where I actually trailed myself out. And left a little bit on the table as you can see over here it, it broke up through it and just like this level was a false breakdown this was a false breakout of both the opening price so once it came back down it got out for almost a 100 percent gain on those on those calls there so left a little bit on the table but overall worked out pretty well for that now looking forward i'm gonna go to the actual chart over here here we go and this is back on the daily chart we've got almost a hammer candle here decent amount of volume to confirm there were extra participants on the day uh, support at the 21 day exponential came back above the eight period exponential so this kind of candle should have a, a serious amount of follow through the last time it happened was right in this region here one thing worth noting is there were a lot more dark pool prints up here around 239.90s um, was likely from oh shit it wasn't even from yesterday a little bit from two days ago then um, it's very very uh, strange that dark pool prints would be reported a couple of days late. They're usually, you know, the following day. Um, but something's going on there. Maybe they were pre-market or after hours. Anyways, uh, anything over 239.90 is still going to be bullish. They were very large. I think it was a total of about 5 million, 5.5 million shares. So not as big as we have had in the past, but it's still a fair amount of dark pool prints up there. So you got to think that's big money moving, moving their positions. And it's not likely there's enough smaller traders uh, that are absorbing that so um, big money selling the big money and it could continue to push us up higher and rock it up a little bit more and said so the last time we had a candle like this we got a pretty good gap up and a substantial move on some follow through now it did come back down and just tested this wedge so that's also a bullish uh, setup in my opinion and what i'll be looking for tomorrow is a continuation from this range so basically a long over 239 and a half And the stop just below there. It is Friday, so I can't really expect too much of a move, but if it does start to go, Friday would probably be the day for it to go because there's going to be a fewer people at their desks and the market makers will want to get the most for their money. So keep that in mind and we could have some new all-time highs tomorrow. Good luck.